Hey guys, Samuel 7 here, Moto 2 of Odessa Stadium. This one's definitely going to be an exciting one here. Uh, rumble, or just raffle up the starting order a little bit. Uh, it's definitely different than the last Moto, which should make for a more interesting start. We're going to have um, people in different positions all over the place on the gate, and it should make uh, for hopefully a more competitive race, but we'll have to wait and see if that's actually the case um, as we scroll through the field here. You guys can get an idea of the scale and and where the drivers are in the gate uh, if you haven't raced a Supercross race before. But the 30-second girl is off. And that means that the race is going to be starting just here soon. And the gate is dropped. A lot of people tried to jump it early, but they definitely failed. One person, I think that's Rebel, with a great start right there. Turkey, a pretty decent start as well. Many people going down already in the first section as we go into the second section. And, oh no, I think Luke goes down right there, and that's going to trouble up a couple people behind him, um, especially Cat. I think Cat gets a sky wheelie right there, and that's definitely going to hurt him a little bit. Um, lots of, lots of like, a, a bit of a domino effect uh, going down there, and definitely hurt a, a lot of drivers. <laughs> Rebel is off to an early lead should be good so far as long um rebel's definitely fast we saw him in the last moto he's very fast and with the with the early lead that he has he has a very high chance i think of winning this moto what he's just going to need to do is it's going to come down to the lap traffic really i mean rebel's pretty consistent of a driver um if anything he'll make the same amount of mistakes that the second place driver will so they won't gain off of them um i think what rebel's really going to need to do is just slice and dice his way through the lap traffic and that's going to be his best opportunity at at taking this moto win luke got second in the first moto not sure if he's going to be looking good for the overall here as he's in uh, maybe sixth place now definitely working his way back up the field but still pretty far back slaunch is definitely in the best spot for the overall right now um in third he actually has the overall right now in third place so if he can hold on to third place let's let's say rebel wins this race and slaunch holds on a third that's what he needs to do to take the overall if if rebel wins and slaunch finishes fourth then then rebel will take the overall in order for luke to take the overall it would take uh it would take rebel uh, to have to finish behind luke luke would essentially have to win the moto uh, assuming that rebel and slaunch finish right behind him in, in that order rebel and then slaunch so that's what it would take for luke to win the overall so those top three drivers are definitely in best con uh, since they had podiums in the last race they're in the best contention to get the overall and hunter gets really loose little scary there for luke but he holds on to it keeps it safe takes another position uh but those top three drivers that's that's the scenarios for them for them to take the overall there's also blades who finished fourth um obviously he would he would need to to really get going at this point and, and get into the lead and hope that I don't know some of these other drivers in the back of the pack just randomly get a fast line figured out and pass uh, Luke, Slaunch, and Rebel. All three of them. So Blade's gonna be a little bit tough for him to get the overall, but but for for the other three, for Slaunch, Rebel, and, and Luke, it definitely could be any of those three. And, and you can see all of them on the track right now. Luke's worked his way up to the top five. Slaunch is in third. And Rebel in first still. So, right now, that overall is owned by Slaunch. Blades right there behind Hunter Unit. He's in seventh. So, Blades, not as good of a start as he had in the last moto. Definitely, same, th same situation as Luke, actually, or similar situation. Both of them not having as good of a start. And, and Cat right there, by the way, goes down. Hunter goes right over him. Blades almost as well so unfortunate for cat 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 blades and luke all three of them really in a sim in, in a similar situation here they all all three of them had decent starts to the first moto and kind of re uh, rode those out and all three of them in this moto have had rough starts and are going to have to really work their way back up the back up the pack which it wouldn't surprise me if cat was able to because cat has been the king of rounding out the top five this season so far he he just has an uncanny ability of always getting fifth place and and cookie speaking of which i didn't mention this in the first moto cookie and decoy are not here so that might have some big points implications we'll have to look at those at the end of the night um since cookie and decoy are definitely contenders 
uh, for making the championship series with how with how good and consistent their their uh, turnout generally is. Um, so this, that'll definitely mix up the points a little bit. Zooming in on Rebel, get working his way by lap traffic. Hopefully able to do it qu cleanly, and it looks like he's able to. Yep, just works his way around the outside, and that's really how how Rebel looked on Reach is just um, smooth, slick. I guess those words don't really go together, but but you know what I mean. He's he's really smooth in terms of in terms of consistency, but the way he rides is just so loose. You know, he he really looks like when, when he's at his fastest, he really looks like he's just in a groove. And speaking of which, Slaunch goes down out of the groove, <laughs> and and Luke gets by him for third. So that has huge overall implications. If Luke stays in third right now, Slaunch will not get the overall. He will not get it. It will go to Rebel. So this is this is an interesting situation. Slaunch is going to have to work his way back up there into third. And right now it is Rebel and then Turkey. Haven't mentioned Turkey much, but yeah, Turkey's in second. Haven't mentioned him much because he doesn't really uh, he he doesn't really have any cards to play here in terms of the overall. He's he had a very rough first moto finish. He's definitely not going to get the overall. Although a top five finish here for Turkey could be great for his points. Um, Especially after Chili Cove. If Turkey can get a top five in the second moto and his poor finish in the first, that will make up for that a little bit and help Turkey gain more positions in the standings, which he definitely wants. Turkey's one of those guys that's going to be competing uh, for that championship series and he's going to be wanting to, to get in it. So, Especially since he ships out for the Air Force, I believe, on what did he say? Let me look up the exact date right now. So, Turkey. Can have a little bit of an announcement for him. Uh, June twentieth, June twentieth. Okay, so that's when he ships out um, or goes to basic. I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read the message fully, um, but essentially, I'll get to the point. That's when he's going to be gone. Um, so Turkey will be able to watch him race uh, for another couple months. So it's nice. Now it's really nice, in my opinion, for him to get that All Star win uh, because that's a win that he can just get off his belt before he has to leave. You know, he's got that got that win and now there isn't as much pressure he can just ride for fun and you know hopefully get uh some more solid finishes before june 20th um really unfortunate that that's not the first time that we've lost a driver to the military and i'll just say that in a generalized term uh harkler went into some some branch of it i don't i don't remember exactly which if it was air force navy whatnot i, I have no clue um but Harkler definitely is another another driver that we lost to that. Not in terms of death, but in terms of joining us, just to clarify. <laughs> um, so it's not the first time that this has happened, but it's still kind of unfortunate for us, but fortunate for the person going into it. Uh, definitely proud of Turkey. Um, congrats to him. Really wish he'd keep racing, though, but, uh, you know, he's got to provide for his family, which is himself. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, speaking of which, Turkey goes down. All this talk about Turkey, let's focus on his race. He goes down, Tur uh, Luke gets by him. So now it's Rebel first, Luke second, and Turkey third, Slaunch in fourth. So is Slaunch going to be able to do it? Is he going to be able to catch up here and, and, and get this position back? I mean, we'll have, to, we'll have to watch and see how this plays out because right now the biggest implications on this overall uh, has to revolve around Turkey and Slaunch. If Slaunch can pass Turkey back. And Slaunch, evidently, from the first moto, is fast. I think he can do it. He's right behind Turkey already. He's gained a lot. There he goes on the inside. He makes a hard move. Cheeses. Would, uh, I think that was Vulcan, the lapper right there. But Turkey, steadfast around the outside. Oh, a little whole shot cheese right there. My bad. <laughs> Ooh. Slaunch with the crossover. And he's going to complete the pass. So Slaunch back in the position to get him the overall. Now he just needs to hold on to that position, not lose it by the end of the race. Turkey's still in fourth though. And he's definitely gonna try to hold on to that top five. A top five for Turkey here would be amazing. Turkey fighting for that position. He he wants a podium. I mean, he's, he's definitely, he would settle for a top five, but I think Turkey here definitely wants to get on that podium, get as many points as possible, um, get himself as many positions as he can for that championship series. The win puts him in good position because he's got the wild card, but, um, you know, it's still nice to be in based off of points and not have to rely on the win. Lots of good 
tight action here in the tabletop. Whoa, someone goes down uh, BT, possibly? Can't exactly tell perfectly with the armor from here, but I believe that was BT. Moto is definitely starting to settle out a little bit now. Um, sort of going into several several little battles around the track, like right there, Juns and Hunter unit. That's one of them. Turkey and Slaunch was one of them. Speaking of which, I wonder where Blades is at this point. I have to imagine that he's worked his way into the top five, so I wonder what the gap is between him and Turkey. Um, would definitely like to see if Blades is able to work his way by Turkey. Because that extra point is definitely something Blades is going to want. Uh, Blades is fighting for a championship this season, and, and if, he, if he can't, if he can't get the regular season championship, Blades is definitely, definitely going to be going uh, for that championship series championship. And I think he's a, a good driver that's definitely eligible to do it. I mean, I think there's plenty of drivers uh, with practice that can can definitely compete at a high level in the championship series. Oh, Slaunch with a little case action as he's trying to work his way by a lapper. Yeah, Slaunch has got a bit of a gap here to work on Luke. I mean, it's definitely possible that he could catch up to him, but passing him is going to be difficult as well. But we saw Slaunch is pretty fast in the first moto, so it's definitely possible. And and speaking of what I was saying before, here is the gap. Blades has definitely worked his way up. I mean, he's fought this moto to get to this point, and, and here he is trying to get an extra point by passing Turkey Shot. Blade's definitely a solid Supercross driver. Oh, God. Why do you have to mess up when I say that? This always happens. Every time I'm giving someone a compliment, they mess up. Or, or I'm talking crap about somebody. They just do something amazing. It's It, it seems like, you know, in, in, in esports, they talk about the caster's curse. It just seems like that always happens to me. It's always the opposite of what I'm saying seems to happen on the screen, like, half of the time. But anyways, um, as I was saying, Blade's is generally... A good supercross driver and he actually got the first supercross moto victory of the season at minneapolis which was huge nice to see blades win at a supercross again but you know what else uh who else would be um nice to see win at a supercross again i'd, I'd say rebel would be definitely kind of cool after after his dominance in halo reach to see him just you know uh come back here make a return in halo 5 and and in this second moto his second race ever be able to take a moto win that would be huge and he definitely has a a large gap right now i mean when you're looking at luke and slaunch that gap is closing but we don't even have an idea of how far ahead rebel is and that's that's kind of our idea he's he's so far ahead that we can't even tell where he is on this current angle and it, and it, ha it shows quite a bit of the track but can't even tell where rebel is so it's safe to assume that he's pretty far ahead and that with the laps i think that's him right there coming to the rollover but we're gonna look at this battle between turkey and blades and there it is Blades is able to catch up and take the position on Turkey. Takes that fourth place. A potential fourth and fourth here for Blades if he can hold on to this. Turkey trying to hold on to the top five. As we come around here, back to Rebels view and white flag. Dominance. This moto gets a little bit loose right there, but absolute dominance this moto. Look at Rebel. We're going to zoom out here and check his gap. Luke and Slaunch just crossed the finish line and yeah rebel has like a complete section lead on them so amazing race out of rebel he had a great start and he only went up from there and and he is just run amazingly here at Odessa can he close it out only a few more sections it looks like he has a big enough gap away from those lappers oh no way he might actually catch up the one here watch out rebel all right he gets by him that's probably all he needed to do oh really tight on the inside almost falls off but he, there he is, he's doing it. And yeah, he should definitely take it here. And there it is, Rebel takes it with a whip. Moto 2 victory for Rebel. And Luke second, Slaunch third. That's going to give Slaunch the overall. As the other drivers come across the line. And we're going to analyze our results. Rebel taking the victory. Congrats to him. Luke second, Slaunch third. Blades with another fourth place. Turkey rounding out that top five. Definitely a lot of improvement on him. Detail with the consistency, sixth and sixth. Cat in 7th this time, not able to do that amazing top 5 stuff that he's able to do generally. Hunter 8th, Opix 9th, rough night for Opix. Definitely going to need to work on some SX uh, for when we return to SX. Vulcan, DJ, BT, uh, Juns, and then HT with the unfortunate DNF. Got stuck early and then decided to leave, I believe. So unfortunate for him, especially after having a decent first moto. And there it is, Slaunch takes the overall. 
with uh, Rebel and Luke tying for second, then Blades, Cat, with that fifth place in the overall detail, the consistency in sixth, Turkey seventh, and Vulcan eighth, and then running out the pack, Opix ninth, Hunter tenth, HT eleventh, DJ twelfth, Juns thirteenth, and BT in fourteenth for your overall standings. Pretty tight standings, honestly, all throughout the pack uh, for the overall. And then we go on to the point standings starting from 16th up to 9th. So there you can take a look at those. 9th and 10th are those, uh, or excuse me, 9th and 10th are actually just on the bubble uh, for wild card spots. So the next, this is the championship series right here in terms of points. 1 through 8, Luke, Slaunch, Opix, Blades, Cookie, Detail, Decoy, and Turkey in terms of points. Those are your championship series drivers at the moment. And two wild cards, which are undecided at the moment. Congrats to Slaunch for taking the third overall win of the season, his third overall win of the season. Congrats to Rebel for taking a moto victory in Halo 5. Hope you guys enjoyed that race. See you next time.